In the last video, we went over how to automate the creation of netlist files for use with KiCad using the Skittle library in Python. And that let us automate uh, a lot of the connections and importing parts. And once you have that, you want to do the actual PCB layout. And so we're going to go over some simple PCB new functionality that's built right into KiCad. So we're going to go over listing all the components and net names, finding those components by name so that you can actually do operations on them, and we're going to move and rotate components in a batch. So the first thing we're going to do is go to whatever project you're working on. This is the one, the sim really simple one from last time. And to get to the scripting console, it's at the top in Tools, Scripting Console. And this just gives us Py Python shell that you can run commands in. Uh, for us, we'll just use this to run our scripts. And so I keep my uh, Python scripts for whatever project in the same directory. So I'm just going to go ahead and change directory into there so we can run things. And so you can just import OS and use the change directory function. Okay, and then we're there. And so uh, if we want to be able to run a script uh, from the Python shell, um, let's just define a run function. And there we go. And so if you don't want to do all of this uh, every time, uh, notice up here it says startup script executed and it gives you the location of the startup script. So you can put uh, any functions you want to define um, in that script and so you won't have to type all this every time. And you can also have it move into, automatically move into whatever directory you want. Okay, so let's get started on the PCB new commands. So let's just go ahead and import everything from PCB new. Okay, so once everything's imported, the first thing we want to do is define our board. Um, and since we already have our project open, it's pretty simple. You, we can just define our board as board equals get board. And that will give us whatever board is currently open uh, in PCB new. And so we want to go. We want to be able to iterate over all the components and whatever nets and connections you have on the board. So to get the nets, the command is board dot get nets by name. And let's say we want to know what all our nets are called on this board. Um, or if we want to do any other commands, this will be a, a useful way to do it. So we can do for net name, net and nets dot items. And we can print the net code and the net name because these can be different things. So now that we have that, that'll print all our net codes and net names. And then if we want to uh, iterate over all of our uh, components, they're called modules in PCB new. So for every module in board dot get modules, we can just print out what we have on the board. So our module is module.get reference. So that'll tell us uh, how we're supposed to reference the module um, as we're doing different uh, commands to it, like moving and rotating. 
So let's save that and then we'll go into our console and we can, we already defined the run function and I called my file layout.py, so let's run that. And you see um, we've got different net codes and net names. So you're, you're able to do different things to the nets, uh, referencing them either by name or by code. So here in the previous video, we defined a ground and a VN net. So we see those there and we have a, an empty name net as well. And then here below it, we listed all our modules. We have just two modules here, so R1 and R2. So then now that we know how to reference these things uh, to PCB new, why don't we go ahead and move things around? Because that's probably the most uh, useful and interesting part of the PCB new automation. So let's define a resistor. Let's look at resistor 1 for now. And the way you have to assign it so that we can actually do things to it is uh, using this command find module by reference. And if you don't know what your reference is, you can use the uh, command right above here to uh, find out what you should be calling uh, the component that you want. So now we've defined our resistor, now we can do stuff to it. So if you want to move a component, use the command called set position. And then it, this uh, function accepts a wx point argument. So we'll just set this at 0, 0. And let's also rotate this. So resistor one, rotate. And this accepts two arguments. Um, it accepts the point about which you want to rotate. So we'll give it the same point. We'll just rotate it about zero, zero. And then uh, obviously it accepts the rotation angle. And so we'll give it a uh, 90 degrees and for whatever reason the default units are a tenth of a degree so we have to do 90 times 10 to get the actual degrees we want. And then finally uh, let's go ahead and run this. So we'll run it again and you see nothing happened at the top. So we actually have to throw in a another command of end just call it refresh so now when we run this, it'll refresh the whole board and we should see a change. Okay, so now they're overlapping one another. Um, we don't want that, right? So let's go ahead and move the other resistor. Actually, why don't we just move both resistors at once? So we can create a for loop and just iterate over these resistors. And we only have two of them, so do a loop over two. And in our loop, we can define the reference. So that's gonna be this uh, R1 and R2, right? So I'm gonna create those strings. So we can just do R plus the string i plus one. We do i plus one because we don't have an r zero, right? We just have an r one and an r two. Now we want to get that so that we can do things to it. So we use a find module by reference command, and we'll just put mod ref there. And now let's set these positions uh, a little away from each other. So we'll do set position wx point. And so these units are by default nanometers. So if we want to move it uh, 10 millimeters, 
apart from one another, we can do uh, 10 to the 6. Or sorry, that's 10 to the 7 times i. And we'll do that so they're spaced out from one another. Let's just do a different number so we get some different spacing there. And if we go ahead and run this one last time. Oh, got a little error there. And now you can see we've moved uh, 10 units to the right and uh, five units down. And one thing that you should be aware of is that if you rerun this script, um, we have this rotate that runs every time. So that defines a rotation instead of a fixed rotated position. So if you're, if you're going through your code and rerunning it, rerunning it, you're gonna get those rotations to keep happening. Um, so just keep that in mind. Okay, anyway, those are some simple commands in PCB new that should get you started. Um, and in the following videos, I'll go over a little more complex examples of making the net lists and of how I go about laying out my boards. Let me know if you have any comments, and thanks for watching.